All right, we're going to try the YouTube video again. Today is on divisions. It's very similar to yesterday, but it's on something called synthetic division. If you go into to Google Classroom, you'll see these blank notes with all these steps written down. It might be really, really, really helpful to print those out. All right, so this is, I could use long division, but I'm going to show you a method we can use when you're dividing by a binomial a linear binomial, that means the exponent has to be a 1 there. Can't use long synthetic division if that's an exponent that's higher. All right, so step 1. Write the opposite of the constant in the divisor. Remember, the divisor is a thing that you're dividing into the top. So the opposite of the constant, in this case, a constant that says minus 1, the opposite of that, I'm going to use a plus 1. I'm going to put that over here to the side, put a little box around it, sort of a box. Write the coefficients, include all missing terms, to the right of the previous number of the dividend. Okay, the dividend is this thing on top, and I write down the coefficients, and I check to see if there's any missing terms. X to the second, X to the first, nothing missing. So I just write down the coefficients just to the right. Notice I'm not using any X's. Draw a line, leave a space, because I'm going to put some numbers under there. Bring down the leading coefficient of the dividend. That's just this first term, so bring it down. <clears throat> Multiply this number by the number in step one. Step one was the number we put right here. So one times three right underneath the second coefficient. One times three is three. Put it underneath there. The next step says to add. So negative five plus three is a negative two. And then repeat those same steps. So I'm going to multiply, actually it should repeat from four on. So multiply this number by the number in step one. So negative 2 times the 1 is negative 2. Add those two things up. And basically we're done. But now I want to write my answer. My answer comes from this synthetic division. This is the coefficient of my answer. And the exponent on the variable is always 1 less than what you start with. So 1 less than 2 is 1. So this would be 3x to the first. And then you just, just decrease your exponent. So this represents my constant term. And then this represents my remainder. The last term is always the remainder. Pretty simple stuff, isn't it? The answer to this problem is 3x minus 2, which tells me x minus 1 is a factor because there's no remainder. That's something that we'll get into later. Very important, though. Remainder is 0. It's a factor. So the next one, I notice that this problem, the x to the first is missing. Very, very important. Okay, step one, write the opposite of the constant in the divisor. Here's the divisor, opposite of plus two is a negative two. Put that over to the side. Write down the coefficients of the dividend. The dividend is the thing on the top. Include your missing terms. Well, if there's a term missing, and there is, the x is missing, I have to put in a coefficient that does not change this problem. That would be a 0. And then I just follow those steps. So bring down the leading coefficient of the dividend. The dividend is these terms here. So I'm going to bring down that term of 5. Multiply this number by the number in step 1. The number in step 1 was this negative 2 over here. Negative 2 times 5 is negative 10. Write down underneath the second coefficient. I, I already did that. Add these two numbers up. So 4 plus negative 10 is a negative 6. That says repeat. Now this should be repeat steps 4 through 6. Right, so 4, multiply this number by the number in step 1. So I take this negative 6 times the negative 2, which is a positive 12. Add these up. 
and add those up. Then multiply by the number over here, that'd be negative 24. Add these up, that's a negative 27. And my answer, this is the coefficient, or we call a leading coefficient of our answer, our quotient. And I take one away from the exponent here that we started with. So it'd be 5x to the second minus 6x to the 2 minus 1 would be 1 plus 12. That's my constant term. And this represents my remainder. And if you remember in long division, we wrote the remainder over the divisor. Okay. Now, if you want to try one of these when you're working on your own, you always just pause the video. I'm playing it during class. So I'm going to take the opposite of that coefficient constant term and then I'm going to write down the coefficients in the dividend there's no missing term so I'm just going to write down 4 5 negative 1 and 3 very important that you keep the signs there bring down this first term and you can go through the notes it tells you exactly what to do Multiply the number from step one. Negative three times four is negative 12. I like to go really slow on these because I make fewer mistakes. I'm gonna make mistakes, so just slow down. Five plus negative 12 is a negative seven. Times the negative three is positive 21. Add those two up, you get a positive 20. Times the negative three is a negative 60. Add those up, you get a negative 57. <clears throat> and these represent the coefficients in my answer. So it'd be 4x, 1 less than the original. 3 minus 1 is 2, so it'd be 4x squared minus 7x. Just decrease your exponent by 1. And then the last term is the remainder. Now, you can write it like we did here. Or you can write it like this. They mean the same. A lot of times in synthetic division, we write them like that. All right, then the last one I want to go over because it has a fraction, but that doesn't change the way I do it. I take the opposite of that, would be negative one half. I'll show you someday why we take the opposite, not today. There is a missing term. I don't see the x to the power of one, so I have to put that in there without changing the problem. The only way I can do that is by putting in a zero. Bring down the first term, or the leading coefficient is what we call it. Now, I made this one really nice, so when you multiply by the fraction, you get, you get integers, not fractions. Half of 2 is 1, but a negative times a positive would be a negative 1. Add these two numbers up, you get 4. Half of 4 is 2, but that would be negative. Add those up, you get negative 2. Times a negative is a positive. Half of 2 is 1. And then my answer comes from this, would be 2x, again, one less than that original exponent, 2x to the second, plus 4x, minus 2, with a remainder of negative 2. That is my answer to this problem. Again, we call that, I'm sorry, we we'll call that the quotient. All right. Now it's time to start your homework. Good luck. Have fun.